Hi guys! In my class, we have been keeping track of the days of school and it is just about the 100th day of school. We are so excited, we're going to have a big party to celebrate. So I thought I would teach you guys how to draw yourself when you are 100 years old. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw a 100 year old lady and a 100 year old man celebrating the 100th day of school. So you can stick around to learn how to draw yourself when you're old and gray like these two. On this one I'm going to draw a 100 year old lady and on this one I'm going to draw a 100 year old man. So you just follow whichever drawing you would like to follow. So I'm going to have a little trick because the first thing I need to do is to draw a really light circle on the middle of my page. So my trick is that I can actually use a roll of masking tape. So if you have one of these at home, you could use that. If not, that's okay. You can still do it without. You can just either trace something else that you have or just make a really light circle in the middle of your page. So right in the middle, I am going to very, very, very lightly go around with my pencil. It's so light, you can barely see it. That's because I'm gonna add things like hair onto these people, and I don't wanna have a really dark circle that I have to erase after. So I just have a super light outline. Then I am going to follow that line for the bottom half of the circle. Only the bottom half for now. You can see I'm pushing a little bit harder on my pencil and going nice and slow and steady so I stick right to that line the best that I can. Now for the older lady, she's going to have lots of curly hair. So I'm going to use what's called a scalloped line. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to make bumps. That is a scalloped line and I'm following around all the way until I get to the other side. So that's her curly hair. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Now for the old man, he is actually going bald. So he just has two, has two puffs of hair, one on each side of his head, kind of like clouds. And then I'm going to continue that line just across like that for his bald head. <laughs> All right. Now in the middle of their faces, they're both going to get a little nose. And I'm making their nose by doing this little C shape. Perfect. Above their nose, they're both going to get two simple eyes. So I'm just making two black circles, making sure they're above the nose and that they're a little bit spaced out. Okay. I'm going to give this grandma some old grandma glasses. So to do that, I'm going to start by drawing a short line underneath each eye. Well, she kind of looks like a football grandma right now. <laughs> So I'm going to turn these into grandma glasses by making a curved line underneath. So it kind of looks like the letter D or like a smile or like two watermelon slices. And I'm going to make a rainbow line to connect them. So now it looks like she has that old grandma glasses balancing on her nose. The old man, he's going to get big glasses. So around each eye, I'm going to draw a circle. And you can see I kind of practice with my pencil first so I can make sure it's nice and round. And then when I'm ready, I can draw two circles, trying your best to make them the same size, and then connect them with that rainbow line again, just like the grandma glasses. Now the grandpa is also going to get a big mustache. So underneath his nose, I'm going to draw a rainbow that touches his nose and then goes back down. <laughs> kind of looks like a big frown right now. But I'm going to make this a mustache by drawing a zigzag line across to connect those two lines. Now he's got a big bushy mustache. I'm going to also give this grandpa some forehead wrinkles by making two lines on his forehead. And now I'm going to give him a smile. Perfect. So now we've got the heads of our 100 year old people. Next, we're going to add their neck. To add their neck, I'm going to make a little square underneath their head, just like that. Take a look at how big mine is. It's pretty small. 
kind of is about the same width as their smile. Maybe about a finger's width. All right, now for the grandma, I'm gonna give her a dress. So first I draw a line that goes a little bit past her neck, but she has some shoulders. And then I'm just gonna go down on a diagonal, down on a diagonal, and I'm gonna make her dress have a scalloped line on the bottom. Then I'm just going to draw two shoes. So I start by making a line for the bottom of her shoes, put two bumps on top of that line, and then I'm going to draw three lines to make her legs. So one in between the two bumps, and then one line on top of each bump. And you see, now it looks like that's her legs and shoes poking out from under her dress. All right, let's give our 100-year-old man an outfit. So I'm gonna start again with that shoulder line. So that goes a little bit past each side of his shoulders. And then I'm going to go down, and this is just going to be a shirt, so I'm gonna make kind of a square. Perfect. Then I'm gonna make his legs, so from that corner, I'm gonna go down, down. And then I'm going to make his shoes, just like I did with the grandma. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of space, draw my line for the bottom of the shoes, two bumps, one, two. And the line in the middle won't go all the way up, it'll go just about there to show that he has two legs. Okay, and to make my grandpa look like he's wearing suspenders, I'm gonna add an extra line here and an extra line here. That way when we add his arms, it'll look like he's wearing suspenders. Okay, so now I'm gonna add their arms and I'm also going to make one of them holding a cane and one of them holding a walker. Now, I'm gonna draw the walker on the grandma and the cane on the grandpa, but you can always switch them. If you're drawing yourself as a hundred year old old lady, but you wanna have a cane instead of a walker, you can absolutely make that change. Same with the old man. If you want him to have a walker, you can draw the walker over here. So I'm gonna start by drawing the cane because it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to make a diagonal line that goes out from his shoulder. Then, to make his hand, I'm going to draw a little circle. And so he doesn't have a stick hand, I'm going to add a second line that follows it. That way it's not super, super thin. Now he's got an arm. And for the cane, I bet you know it's shaped just like a candy cane. So I'm going to make it curve to my circle and then go down to the ground. And just like that arm, I don't want it to be too skinny, so I'm actually going to go back and make it a little bit thicker by drawing another line right beside it. There, and that's how you draw a cane. So you could draw a cane on either of them. And the other arm, I just keep it easy and make a curved line so it looks like maybe their hand is tucked in their pocket or behind their back. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to draw a walker. So first I'm gonna make two diagonal lines, one on this side, one on this side. Looks like she's got short mini arms. And then I'm gonna draw the circle for their hands. And I bet you guessed it. We don't wanna keep it too thin. We don't want stick arms. So I'm gonna add a second line to make her arm a little bit thicker. Perfect. Now to make the walker, I'm gonna draw a line from this hand to that hand, just like this. If you wanna make it thicker, Draw a second line. Now I'm going to draw the walker leg. So it's gonna start at her hand and go straight down to the bottom. And usually walkers have we uh, wheels or sometimes they have something soft for the ground. So I'm drawing a little circle down there too. And if you'd like to make it thicker, draw a second line. We'll do the same thing on this side. One line, two lines almost looks like a walker. We just need one more line going across here. Perfect. So that's how you draw an old person with a walker. Now to add a little bit more fun to our 100th day drawing, I'm going to make both of these 100 year old people holding balloons that spell or that write out 100. So here's how we make 100 day balloons. You got to start with one, 
long hot dog shape. And then two ovals, and they can be touching if you want. Then I'm gonna draw the inside of the circle balloons. So you can see that looks like 100, one, zero, zero. But to make them look like balloons, we add a little triangle underneath each balloon. That's where it would be tied. Nice. And then I'm gonna connect this spot to the old lady's hand. And you can do a curved line if you'd like. You can do a straight line if you'd like. It is up to you. There. So now it looks like the old lady is holding 100 day balloons. Let's do it again. Start with a nice big hot dog shape, kind of in the middle of your page. And then two big ovals for the zeros. Draw the inside of those zeros. Add a triangle underneath each balloon to show where it's been tied. And then connect those balloons to the old man's hand. There. So now, hopefully you have drawn yourself in 100 years when you are super old. Now whenever I'm done a drawing, I like to go over it with Sharpie. This just makes all of those lines stand out much better. So when you're all done outlining your drawing in Sharpie, remember to go back and color it using pencil crayons or thin markers. And don't forget that this is supposed to be you when you're 100 years old. So you wanna make it look like you. Make sure they have the same skin color as you, except of course their hair is gonna be gray because you're 100 years old. Maybe they could be wearing the same colors that you're wearing today. And don't forget to make the balloons nice and bright and colorful to celebrate the 100th day of school.